affirmative action struck down this week by the Supreme Court. And the, the real travesty is that it even existed in the first place. In America, we shouldn't have to have a uh, prejudice law on the books to help fix prior prejudice. It makes no sense. Uh, it's unconstitutional. It goes against our ethos. It goes against freedom, liberty, justice for all. <laughs> it goes against all those things. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. That's, that's not how we were created. And again, we're humans. America's not perfect. No one is perfect. And America just seemingly has done more right than, than all the other countries. And that is what it is. That's life, right? There's, there's people that win hockey games. There's people that lose hockey games. There's some teams that put together more winning days than less winning days. That's just ha that's what happens. That's life. But how are we going to imitate? How are we going to learn from those, those entities, from those teams, and what they're doing better than others? That's the story of America. And affirmative action, you go into Mario Knopfler's spaces the other day and there's 10,000 people basically having a race riot and, and screaming at each other, you know, black and white and men and women and teachers and non-teachers and uh, old and young. It was just clown world. And I was trying to get on the stage for hour, hour and a half and just like trying to get on and you know, wait for five minutes and I'd undo it and then try to get requested to get on again. And Mario wouldn't let me on. Wouldn't let me on. He's, he's having all kinds of other people on there that, uh, for whatever other reason that had less followers than me and that was okay that was fine um, I don't know if it's because in my profile I talk about Bitcoin fixing these things and they didn't want to hear it because these people love arguing right if Mario Knopfel had uh, Bitcoin hyper Bitcoinization you know and he's had Bitcoiners on the path they've talked about Bitcoin stuff like that but you know Mario Knopfel again someone who you know profits and, and benefits from arguments and polarization division and hate you go away, right? Like, what are you providing to society? That's, that's like a lot of things, right? A lot of the media, mainstream media, there's a lot of people out there in general. Humans are humans, they're not, polarization, division, hate aren't gonna go away. Bitcoin isn't gonna fix all of that. It's gonna fix a lot of it though. And again, ask me how I know. It's because I've studied it for over a thousand hours over the last five years. I've studied Bitcoin uh, probably up there with being 10 years in real estate and 12 years in real estate and doing that and investing on my own and running our family office and being in hockey. I I'm getting up there. I'm getting close to that world of the number of hours I put in studying Bitcoin, probably 1,000, 2,000 hours. Hockey, I have probably about 10,000 hours and 12,000 hours. And then investing in real estate and business, I probably have 5,000 hours, six, 7,000 hours, something like that. And then Bitcoin, I probably have, you know, I would say 2,000, we'll say, over the last five years. So I'm, I'm getting there. I've war gamed these things out. I've spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on spaces, uh, on stage, talking to other people, refining, and more than I ever did in any, any other entity, actually, refining my, my thoughts and refining my thinking of, of how the world will be and what will happen. And none of us know what's actually going to happen. But again, I do know that a lot of the bread and circus that goes on is to keep people distracted. The Roman Colosseum that we're all in, fighting as gladiators, black and white, man versus woman, young versus old, uh, feminist, non-feminist, uh, liberal, conservative, red versus blue, we're not understanding that the game is the state versus you. <laughs> and they're up there on high. It's the emperor doing this up and down. And the real game's going on back. It's in the treasury when they're clipping the coins down, melting them down, screwing you over with inflation and doing whatever. And then Di Emperor Diocletian comes in and says, we're going to get do it. Oh no, that was Joe Biden actually. Always oh, both say they're going to do price controls and they're going to come in and it will destroy things even more. And price controls always lose. That's not the point of the story, price controls. But this process plays out over and over again. And we've all heard that if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And history doesn't repeat, it rhymes. And this is why we learn history. This is why we learn philosophy. This is why we learn this world we're living in. As Jim Rogers says, if you want to be a successful investor, a successful human being, you have to learn history and you have to learn philosophy. If you don't understand those two things, you're going to have a very difficult time. You're not going to understand why in the world these things are going on. You're not going to understand. If you only understand politics and you don't understand the money is broken and how the money monetary system works, you have no idea why you're fighting in a space with 10,000 people and you sound like a bunch of children. You're going to be arguing about things while the people on high, the puppeteers, the people pulling the strings, the bankers, the, the families that run all this, they just laugh. They laugh all the way to the proverbial bank literally and figuratively, because they are there, sitting there, distracting all of you from the real game going on. Them out in the back in the treasury, clipping the coins and melting them down and giving you cheap base metals and copper as your new silver and gold while they keep what's important, while they keep the actual money. They're giving you paper claim checks while you think that that's real. You think, you believe, because the, the 
Money is psychological, the economy is psychological, life is psychological. And because you think this, and because you tell yourself the dollar has value or utility, or fiat currencies have dollar or utility, it has it, right? It's all psychological. So people argue with me all the time, like, oh, Bitcoin doesn't have utility. Oh, the dollar has utility. No, it's whatever people believe has utility has utility. If everyone thought that dogs were the best money possible, everyone would be trading dogs. This is how humans work. And because we don't understand, we'd rather, we don't know what to do in a world where all this went away or 80, 90% of it went away and melted away, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. We're obsessed with the battle. We're obsessed with the fighting, the arguing, the division, the polarization, the hate, the victimization, blaming other people. We'll do anything but to keep ourselves accountable, to keep ourselves responsible for what's actually going on in our lives. This is why we talk about the six higher faculties all the time from Bob Proctor, right? Will, recept, uh, will, uh, wow, will, perception, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. Those are the six higher faculties that we aren't taught in school, I wonder why, and no one cares about. All we care about is how can I blame someone else and how can I vote someone in who's going to steal liberty and wealth and property rights from someone else and give them to me. That's it. So if we really want to solve things and talk about what's actually happening, then it doesn't matter if you're a uh, a wealthy white doctor from St. Clair Shores, Michigan, or if you're a poor family growing up in Louisiana, it doesn't matter. If you are in a Bitcoinized world where prices are always coming down and your standard of living is always going up and your money that you earn is constantly going up in value, we all win. Now you can send your kids anywhere, anywhere you wanna go. Things start to melt away. People aren't grifting and grafting off society. They're not trying to pine for more currency to come to a system. Well, you need more spent per kid when it's just going out to line people's pockets and it's not being spent in the proper places and destroying those societies, destroying those schools. Now, when people start to realize it doesn't pay to grift on society, it doesn't pay to, you know, Brett Favre and, and like steal money from my sister or my daughter's volleyball team or whatever the heck he allegedly did. And it pays to just work honestly, provide value, save more Bitcoin than you spend each month and you grow wealthier over time. And everyone can do that because it's finite and it actually grows in value over time instead of dollars, which people are literally incentivized to just throw into the wind because they lose value over time because they print more of it. Well, now the world starts to turn around. All the all the hatred, the division, the polarization, and hate start to melt away. This is where a lot of this emanates from. And no one can tell a black person or a white person or anyone what to do with their money. If you have an internet connection, you have access to Bitcoin. You can take Bitcoin into self-custody and you can grow wealthier over time. There's not a single person that knows or can do anything about it. So if you want equality, if you want justice, true equality and true justice, a true true playing equal playing field, then you will adopt the Bitcoin standard today, right now, not tomorrow, not in a year from now, not when it goes up past its all-time high, not when it hits a million, because people get Bitcoin at the price they deserve, unfortunately, but you will do it now. You will buy Bitcoin, you'll start selling your cheap uh, pieces of garbage dollars and buy the hardest asset to ever cross this earth, humans have ever discovered, and you will start saving and you'll start earning Bitcoin and you'll save and become wealthier over time. Over the long haul, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you will become wealthier and wealthier over time. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Nothing is get rich quick over time. That's the fiat system, the fiat mentality of dollars, of, you know, fiat currencies. That world is get rich quick. How do I get rich quick? Because the month is coming to an end and I need some cash now. And I'm doing more ridiculous things and more ridiculous things, going up the risk curve of my investing, doing shadier things because I need dollars because they're losing value and I can't afford my next month. We can reverse that. We can reverse that. Please share this out. I appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. Please share this out because the algorithm hates truth, hates liberty, hates freedom. This is not financial advice, it's freedom advice. Trust but verify, but question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. Please let me know your thoughts, your questions, concerns. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.